All right, this video is going to be about how to get interact with Target to work with melee characters um, so they don't run around crazy. Okay, so uh, before I get into anything, I just want to talk about uh, the Quick Setup Wizard. I ran my team uh, through the Quick Setup Wizard, and in the last step, you'll see this basic broadcasting section that I'm showing you. Okay, um, I left these unchecked, uh, but usually when you want to configure... Uh, interact with target with melee, you're going to probably check these. Um, we're going to talk about a section where if you didn't check one of these, you're, you're going to have to change a setting uh, on your character set. Okay. So I have a character set called IWT. It has a paladin, a DK, a mage, and a druid. Um, what I want you to do to double check your settings is when you click this, uh, you see these tabs here for your... Uh, your character set click on virtual map keys and if you left either those check boxes unchecked either auto interact with target uh, active method here will be no map key if you didn't check the auto interact checkbox and if you didn't uh, check the assist one auto assist me will also be blank so the way you correct these is for auto interact with target active method you would click this triangle button select isb 42 party and then picked, pick interact with target standard. And then for the assist me, the auto assist me, uh, if you do cl click the checkbox when you set it up, it, it actually, this auto assist me active method points to this here, right? So this assist me active method just points at a wow macro. Um, if you want to do it exactly like the, uh, the default setup does, then you would click this triangle less than button, we want to call it, select party, and then also use assist me active method. So that's sort of like, you know, pointing at another virtualized key. Okay, so now that those are straightened out, the next thing you need to do is I want you to double check your variable keystrokes. If you do not use WASD, you need to change these. It just so happens that I don't, so I'm going to change them. Okay, my keys are changed. A couple other things I want to uh, to highlight is that when you were doing the quick setup wizard, you should have set keys. Uh, there's like two panes. One on the left is what you press for eyes box that are look for, for follow, assist, and interact. And then there's the section on the right, which is how wow is set up. This variable keystrokes area is the configuration that should match how your keys are in wow. So I happen to use the same keys for in game and IS boxer, so Alt F follows, Alt A assists, Alt G interacts with target. Uh, you want to make sure those are set because if you don't have those set, doesn't matter how good your your key maps are, are configured. It's just if it if IS boxer doesn't have a key to press, it doesn't have a key to press, and nothing will work. So that's what this is. You're telling IS boxer, here's the key you send. Wow. Okay. Now we need an action target group. If you don't have one, you can right click an action target group, select a new one. I'm going to call this melee. You can call yours whatever you want. So in order to use this, you do need to put characters in it. If you don't put characters in here, you're not going to find it in any of the target drop downs. So I'm going to put my uh, paladin and my DK in here. All right. So with that out of the way, next thing we need to do is uh, actually set up our interact with target. So you're going to uh, expand key maps. If it isn't, select party. Go to auto interact with target standard because that's what we picked in our key map virtualization on our character set. And what you want to do here is um, click on the interact with target all. You want to change this to all of melee. Alternatively, if you're driving from a tank and you don't want the character that you're currently controlling to run, you would do all others in melee. Okay. Awesome. Now, this just gets your melee characters to run forward, right? And attack the target. But by selecting melee here, this stops your your casters who also have a melee spec from running forward, which is part of the reason why I picked uh, a druid to highlight the fact that druids will run towards their target. Um, you can leave this all, but just keep in mind that classes like uh, druid and shaman will keep running and so if you've got like they're a balanced druid and you have a dps rotation that's casting a whole lot of things like solar wrath whatever that's cast time they're going to be constantly interrupted because they're going to be trying to get right up to the close to the target so you can leave this uh what it was before but um 
if, if you've got a, a mixed party comp, I would recommend setting it to melee. And then the, the, like the whole point of this is how do you get them to stop running crazy, right? Because if you leave it like this, your melee characters will still sort of run in circles as you spam a DPS key. So you can do this one of two ways. You could send a keystroke action, which would be just directly pressing the key. But part of the reason that I went through the variable key maps, or I'm sorry, variable keystrokes up here, which is that, um, setting these up means that you can use these and call call these as um, as sort of like a, a built-in IS box or kind of like a function or whatever. So like if you decide maybe your W ASD now and you decide to switch to ESDF or maybe you get a Dvorak keyboard, I don't know. <laughs> you can leave all of your, your configuration stuff as is and just change the variable keystrokes like you know maybe you lose a hand and you have to play with your other hand <laughs> whatever um so here i'm going to do a uh, right click on actions keystroke actions variable keystroke action and then you can just pick move forward and then the only other thing is that this needs to go to the top it needs to come before interact with target and of course it needs to be all of melee right so this will just move them forward a little bit and uh then interact with target will have them take off awesome okay so let's test this out we'll save export and i have wild running already so let's uh let's just Pop through all the characters real quick. Everybody's reloaded. Okay, so I have a different um, different key uh, on R, which is a custom hotkey I set up. Uh, I believe I have that set up correctly, but hey, let's just real quick. Let's um, double check custom hotkeys, assist plus R, uh, do auto assist me, do auto interact. Okay, great. That looks good. R goes to all. So here we are. So I'm going to target this training dummy and I'm just going to spam. So you see my DK and my Paladin run. And they're not going crazy. They're attacking it. And my Druid is doing Moonfire. My Mage is doing Frostbolt. And we're all good. And that's all there is to it. Uh, so I think that is about as quick as I can make this video. And I want to try to keep it under 10 minutes. So that's it for now. If uh, you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, your your setup may be a little different than, than than this because maybe you made some changes and maybe we can help you figure out um, what it is you need to change. I will say that uh, if you are new to IS Boxer, um, what would probably be helpful is, if I look at this, no, I want to look at, so yes, the wiki is very helpful, but there's a link to somewhere somewhere in here there is a, a link here right here is boxer discord um i hang out in the world of warcraft channel in here so does mariah and there's all sorts of other people who are like really really good with is boxer uh, they have a lot of really neat ideas and they can help you sort of fine-tune your configuration i would highly recommend you check that out um and okay that's it thanks a lot